Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. And well, today is pretty much going to be from one extreme to the other because last time I did Annings Pear and Mint Cider which was quite easily one of the nicest uh, mixed fruit drinks I've ever had. And now we are going to go back to, well, it's actually been, well, quite a while since I've actually done a review of this sort of drink because uh, way back in my 10th review I reviewed Original Magnus and now I'm just finally getting around to doing Magnus Pear Cider. So uh, well, I'm pretty sure you've all seen Magnus Pear Cider about but for those of you uninitiated with, um, with the drink and everything, let's go and get the lowdown on Magnus Pear Pear Cider. Magna's Pear Cider comes in 568ml bottles, but you can also get it in, well, pretty much anything else really. You can get it in 440ml bottles, and you can also get it in uh, 330ml bottles, and also 440ml cans. And uh, I do believe you can also get it in 500ml cans as well, so yeah, quite a lot of variety there. The alcohol percentage is a pretty bog standard 4.5%, so nothing really different there. As usual with most pear ciders, it doesn't say if it's going to be sweet or dry tasting. And the price, well, as with most other ciders like this, it varies greatly. I'm just going to say it's going to be around about £1.99 for a bottle, but I managed to get this one for a quid. So it just shows you that uh, it's always on a deal or something, so just keep looking about if you want to try Magna's Pear. Well, I'm not going to beat around the bush too much, really, because, as I've said, you know, once you've seen one Magnus bottle, you've seen them all, and, as usual, it's green, because it's a pear cider, and it needs to differentiate itself between the original. Um, it doesn't say much on the front, it just says, a refreshing taste. I'll be the judge of that. Irish cider since 1935, only the best quality pears. Yeah, I'll believe that when I see it. There's method in the Magnus, I'd like to know which one. Here at Magnus, we go to unusual lengths to bring you our distinctive tasting pear cider. The only fruit we use in our pear cider is pears, pears, and pears. And most likely sugars and stuff like that. It just says contains sulfites to preserve freshness. The only um, good thing about this is not that, you know, no fat women can have it, but uh, 568 mils, so, you know, you're getting a pint at least. But uh, whether it's a pint of good tasting stuff, that remains to be seen. But I'm going to waste no more time and get this bottle cracked open for you. Okay. Well, let's go and get a smell. I um, pretty much know what I'm going to be smelling here. Yeah, nothing great, really. Uh, you've got, like, a sort of, like, artificial um, pear smell. A bit like pear drops, once again or just like concentrated pear juice. But uh, really, not a lot else to be honest, so I'm just gonna waste no more time and get it whacked into the glass. I will be very surprised if there's natural sediment in this, because if there is then, I hate to say it, but I think Magnus is doing something wrong. There we go, I'm just gonna not quite get it all in. You never know, I might not be able to finish the bottle. Anyway, here we are, Magnus Pear Cider. Well. There you go. Pretty much bog standard pear cider colour there, just uh, very lightly coloured. Pretty hefty carbonation, as you can tell. You can probably hear the fizz from there, can you hear it? Yeah, probably. But yeah, you know, pretty much bog standard stuff here, so any different smells in the glass? Not really, it's just the, uh, the, the uh, pear drop smell is a lot more prominent now, so, well, I'm going to waste no more time and go... Right, uh, go straight, go straight in for the taste. Cheers, guys. Wow. E, that's uh, that's that's even worse than I imagined it would be. Um, obviously, I'll be honest with you guys. I have had Magnus Pear before, but that was quite a while ago. And I can kind of see why. This um, tastes a lot worse than I last thought it was. Well, I think so anyway. Let's get a second opinion. Oh, wow. Ugh. Yeah, that's, that's all kinds of awful. Wow. Um, ugh. Oh, that's... Oh, no, that is not nice. It's got sort of um, a chemically sort of taste to it, as though they've... Um, They've, like, left something in the production process of it, and they've just 
forgotten to take something nasty out. That really doesn't, that really doesn't taste nice at all. Um, let's just get another one just to be sure. Oh wow, yeah, that is really bad. Mm. Oh Jesus. And the, the really the only other thing you're getting is just um, massive amounts of just sweeteners and sugars and, you know, the general rubbish that you normally find in uh, this sort of drink. Oh, but wow! I, I didn't expect it, it, would, it would taste that bad. I don't know whether this is um, a bad bottle I've got, but I mean, to be honest, most bottles of Magnus are bad in my opinion, but um, yeah, this one tastes overly, overly bad. Let's just... Um... It's just, uh, it's just got that, it's just got that thick, syrupy consistency that you get in, you know, most industrially made ciders, um, where they've just added all the artificial um, rubbish into it. Naturally, because of that, you are getting, you know, your, your throat is just like clogging up with all this gunk. That, uh, you know, it's just really thick, syrupy, and just not enjoyable to drink at all. Um, I guess the one saving grace about this is, well, actually two saving graces, is that it does come in a 568 ml bottle if you so wish to drink a pint of this stuff. Um, and it's usually going for relatively cheap. As I said, I got this bottle for, um, for a quid. So, you know, at least I didn't waste too much money on this because I didn't really want to spend a lot of money on Magnus. But I mean... If you go down to London or somewhere like that, it's it's usually hellishly expensive. I saw a, I saw a bottle of original Magnus go for four pound twenty for one bottle. It wasn't even a pint. It was um, four hundred forty mils, and that's bloody extortionate, especially for the stuff that it is. You know, which is artificial, sugary, sweet crap, and really, you shouldn't be drinking it. Um, well, I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's get a final taste before the final verdict. Oh. Another thing is, you know, I mean, you are getting a pear taste, but it's almost like rotten pears. They just haven't bothered to pick any fresh, juicy, you know, juicy pears straight off the tree. They've just waited until it's like started to, you know, rot out a little bit, go a bit brown. And they thought, oh, yeah, that'll be all right. We'll just shove that in. No one will know. Um, basically, to cut a long story short, don't buy this. As much as it looks appealing and you think, oh yeah, this, you know, if you've never tried a pear cider before, this is definitely not the best way to go for a first time. Um, obviously, you know, they're trying to appeal to you by making it, you know, attractive and appealing, but, you know, looks can be deceptive. I would say do not buy this, but I can see why some people would, because, you know, it is, it's cheap and, you know, you are getting more for your money, so... I can't be too harsh with this, but I am going to go and give Magnus Pear Cider a 3 out of 10. Um, I could have gone lower, but as I've said, it is cheap and, you know, some people do find it drinkable. I personally, you know, I mean, I will probably finish this glass, but I will never, ever touch this stuff again. I literally just bought this bottle just to do a review on it to get it out of the way, really. So, um... But, oh well, there we go, that was another episode of The Cider Drinker for you guys. Hope you liked it, and, as usual, I will be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. But until then, I'm trying not to belt, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna rush this along. So, take care guys, until next time.